Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're an oldie but a goodie, welcome if you're new. Excuse me guys, I'm, I need some water. <laughs> um, sorry for no video yesterday. It was a long basketball weekend and I was so tired. Yesterday I was just like, oh, I can't do it. But you guys, um, I've been slowly, I'm kind of like focusing on each doll's room individually. Hold on a minute. Hey guys, I'm back. So, um, I'm slowly redoing the dollhouse, redoing rooms, getting rid of stuff, things that, um, you know, like I talked about before that when we first started the dollhouse, I mean, I was just like, let's build a house, let's build a room, let's put all this in it, that, you know, and I really didn't develop personalities of my girls, so now that's what I'm doing, and I've started here, the first room that I've done is, um, Luciana, and if you're not familiar with Luciana, she's right here in the blue hat, and this is her roommate, Jack, let me fix Jack's little, um, there, or the sweater, her sweater there, and, <clears throat> Luciana came basically with her personality. I've kept her personality to what it is. She's my STEM girl. She's, you know, all about space. She's more, that's why my STEM girl, she just definitely is about space. She is all about, you know, exploring the, <laughs> the frontier of space. Um, she loves NASA. She hopes to work for NASA someday. She wants to go to the NASA, NASA space camp. Um, all that. So that's basically Luciana. Now she's wearing a Mixie Pixie 7 t-shirt. Uh, she's wearing Courtney's. I'm going to bring the little thing down here. She's wearing Courtney's skirt. I think those are Pleasant Company, like, moccasins. I'm not sure. <laughs> Um, they, they said they, I got them when we went thrifting and we just found a whole bunch of doll shoes and it was, someone must have just turned in all their doll shoes and the hat I want to show you all, if you saw my Dollar Tree, recent Dollar Tree haul, the hat is the baby hat from Dollar Tree. I do have it folded up here, but you can see how it does fit the dolls. My Luciana. Forgive me, guys. I want to bring her a little closer here. Whoops. And of course, Jack's going to be like, well, if you're going to bring her, I want to come too. My Luciana, I don't know if other people's Luciana is like this. She's got the the hair in the face right there. So if I take, I love, you know, she's got, of course, the purple. Her purple. I love her flip. That's one thing I like about Luciana is the flip in her hair. But she, I mean, that's Luciana. She kind of keeps to herself a lot. In our in our house in the dollhouse, she's not one, and I think it's due. You know, she's not one to really, um, it's not too outgoing. She likes basically, like I said, she reads a lot of science fiction, and um, yeah, I mean that's Luciana. <laughs> she hopes someday too to get down to um, Cocoa Beach, and in Florida, and see one of the uh, oh, space shuttles launch. So that's that girl, that girl. And here's my Jack. Jacqueline uh, does wear glasses. Uh, and she's got all different. She's got red glasses, white glasses. She's got all kinds of glasses. She doesn't have any one particular pair that she wears all the time. Uh, these are her, her newest ones here, these blue ones. She is um, not my nature girl. I'm not, she's not my garden girl, but she's my nature girl. She loves... Excuse me, she loves flowers and birds and just basically um, butterflies, insects. She's like in the, you know, like the insect world. Um, she's fascinated too by science, but where Luciana likes the science fiction, Jack is more into, um, you know, like the natural science, science I was going to say, where Luciana's into space science, things like that. Jack's into, like, natural science, so, um, she does like working in the garden. Her and Melanie are really good friends because Melanie, as you know, loves the flowers, and so her and Jack have just really, 
um, become really good friends with their love of gardening. And as you can see, she is wearing the um, Timu mushroom outfit with the bubble skirt. I'll bring it down so you guys can see. With the bubble skirt. Those are my life as jelly platforms that she's wearing. The hat goes to uh, the Timu Christmas sweater. The, na the nice and a Christmas sweater outfit. It was the nice and naughty Christmas sweater. And she has borrowed Emily's sweater. And this Jack just, she's a, she's just a, I don't know. She's another one. She's kind of quiet. Um, her and Melanie, you know, I said they are best friends, but her and Jack, Jack and Luciana, I apologize, I said her and Jack, Jack and Luciana are like sister, I mean like close, close sisters, and um, they, you know, you know, of course being roommates, they get along really, really well, there's no arguing between them, their room, I said, you'll, most of the time you'll find them in their room, reading Luciana's reading some you know something about space or some science fiction book she likes Luciana likes Star Wars she likes Star Trek she's not one or the other she doesn't you know um she doesn't discriminate against either one and where Jack you'll usually find her reading about yeah you know, uh her favorite book is Alice in Wonderland She's my Alice in Wonderland girl, she, and she loves fan, she loves fantasy in that sort of way, but not science fantasy, if that makes sense. But yeah, so that is uh, Luciana and Jack, but I wanted to show you what I've done to their room. So I'm going to move them out of the way, put them over here to the side. <clears throat> so as you can see, just from looking... From where you, the angle you guys are at, uh, they do have bunk beds, and their bunk beds are the, they're the old, I'm pretty sure they're the My Life As, um, older ones. I found them at, both of them I think I found at thrift stores, or I know Luciana's I found it at a thrift store, and then Jackson may have purchased from one either eBay, Macari, Shop Goodwill, one of those. So those are the plastic beds with the um butterflies at the end. I personally like the size of the My Life Ads beds. They're not too bulky. They fit really nice in the doll room because my doll room, as I've told you guys before, these the walls are I got from Lowe's and they're four by four by four by four so it's like a perfect square and they're the uh, the drywall repair walls that at milo's you find them in the paint department i'm not sure where other people might find them in, in their lows but that's where i found mine was in the paint department and so these fit, I think, perfectly. They're not too big. There's still room for the dolls to kind of stand in the room and to move around a little bit. And it doesn't take up a lot of space. Where the American Girl doll beds, I think, are very bulky, I guess you would say. Anyways, so as you can see, they have their bunk beds. And I'll get more into the room in a minute. I'm just kind of doing an overview. So we got, as you can see, Luciana. I'm sure you can guess sleeps on the top. That again is the material that I found at Dollar Tree with the astronauts that I showed in my last Dollar Tree haul. And then what I did is I did not sew. I just took, um, this is a, they call it a beer towel from Dollar Tree. And I just, with Elaine's tacky glue, I just tacky glued it all together. And then I stuffed it with Walmart bags. And... So that's where you get that crinkle sound in there. <laughs> I stuffed it with Walmart bags. One, because we have a ton. And two, um, because we had it. And so it makes it cheaper than um, going and buying filler foam. You guys know I'll fill with... I've got a whole pile of mismatched socks that I stuff stuff with. So, um, yeah. And then on the back wall there is... 
the other material, the same material. I kind of use it as a wallpaper, basically. So, or it's like a tapestry. So, to match her bedding. And then she's got sitting on the bed there on top. Those are actually Christmas ornaments that I found at Target a few years ago. And actually, I think they've had them a couple of years now. But they make great little dolls for Luciana. So you have the two, like, astronauts and the little alien girl. So you have the boy astronaut, the girl astronaut, and the little alien girl. The Force is Strong with this little one is another Christmas ornament that I found at Hobby Lobby a year or two ago. And then that is a, just a ball. I think it was a Dollar Tree. It's of, it's the planet Earth. And behind that, it was hanging up, but it fell down, <laughs> is another Christmas ornament that's like of a planet like Saturn. And then behind that, which you can't see, but like so I'm going to get closer, is like a little uh, robot kind of alien that I found. We found it at, at um, the thrift stores. And then this wall, kind of get a little closer and so you guys can see this wall here. Hold on. There we go. A little bit. <laughs> eh, let me adjust correctly. There we go. So that wall, this wall here, kind of a compromise for the girls. So we had kind of like a flower print. And then we just have uh, some stripes. And these are just some scrapbook paper that I've had for years that I wallpapered with. I use double-sided tape from Timu. But, um, to put it up there. And then this in here, the rocket ship over there clipboard is from Dollar Tree and I just took a picture of the girls that I'll develop and probably put there and then this I printed this up it's a garden like a little fairy garden of Alice in Wonderland characters and then this is a headband and it may be I think it was Hobby Lobby but it was too big for the girls, even when I tried to knot it. So it just kind of hangs here. And then down here is another little picture. Bring you guys down another picture of, like, another garden. And then down back there is Luciana's telescope. And then we have the little chair, which is a My Life As. And we have the Luciana mini doll. This little plant here was another Christmas ornament from Target. And what I like about it is you can bend the leaves and stuff to make it the way you want it. And um, Luciana, in when she was, she didn't come. You know how every American girl girl doll comes like with a pet? Well, hers was a robot dog. And I found all these, well, I found him at a thrift store. Sabrina collected these when she was little. Little, little, like, robot, little dolls. So she's got a little robot horse, a little robot giraffe. And then on this side over here, Luciana has a robot unicorn. I don't remember. I don't even know if they make these anymore. But it was a few years. Sabrina was really into them. So they have now moved into Luciana's room. She takes care of them. The birdhouse is, uh, of course, Jack's, because I said she's a bird watcher, loves birds. As a matter of fact, we had a cardinal today in our garden, and we, her and I both were just amazed at the color. I've never really seen a cardinal that close. So there's her butterfly, and like I said, her little electronic bird. This little plant, I want to say came, it's a My Life As plant. I think it came with the school accessories or may have came with the schoolhouse the my our generation schoolhouse I'm not definite but it just works in here and that little hold on, let me move you guys again one second there we go so this little butterfly i think you're supposed to put like a picture in it but i found it again at a thrift store and it just fit for these guys so i have that this is just a butterfly picture i printed out and then the um, lamp, as you can, it's supposed to have like a tea light in it, and it's got those dried flowers around it. But we put one of the Dollar Tree back up a bit. 
one of the Dollar Tree um, puck lights in there so that they can have their lamp on. Give you guys a little better look at the bedding and her. So there's her stuffies. And then like I said, there's that little robot guy and the little planet thing fell down. Let me see if I can get that up so you guys can see it how it's supposed to look. It's probably going to fall down again though. But <clears throat> uh, let me get in the house. Do you guys do that? You got to like crawl into the house to do stuff. Okay, let's see. I think I have to put more, more sticky up here to keep it up. But let me do this real fast, guys, and then, and then I will show you how it was hanging up here, <laughs> or how it's supposed to hang up here. Okay, so there you go. Now you can see how it's supposed to look. That's how her little corner of her. Or her room supposed to look. And then that's the little... I still have to work it. But that's the baby bandana. Or baby bib from Dollar Tree. I'm going to make that into her pillow. And you can see how it's just that pink plastic. My life has bed. And there's her globe of the earth. It's just... I'm pretty sure this was Dollar Tree. Just like a little ball. And that's her little blanket from her telescope set. This here is... Jack's little bag, Animal Island. It's her little bag. She takes to the farmer's market when her and um, Melanie go to the farmer's market. And then back there hanging, I don't know if you guys can get the lights kind of in the way, is, um, if I go this way, is Luciana's backpack. Is that gal, I think it was called the Galaxy Backpack. It's an American Girl backpack. And then down here, there we go. So this is, Sorry for the lighting. But that is, of course, Jack is on the bottom. And back there, kind of glittery, is a butterfly, a cricket, and a frog, I think. And they, too, were Christmas ornaments. And I need to get some pins <laughs> to pin them to the wall. Those reindeer, kind of the 60s, or the vintage-looking reindeers... Uh, they, again, were uh, Christmas ornaments. And then this right guy right here, he is a little lamb that, again, was a Christmas ornament and his little backpack. So he just sits on her bed. So that is Jack's bed. I'll bring these out so you guys can see him better. So, so okay, so see, it's this little guy. And then... The butterfly and the cricket and I'm gonna hang them up on the wall over here in that space there that's where they're gonna go but then here this is what I really want I, another thing I really wanted to show you guys I want to make this last thing is that's the Dollar Tree baby burp cloth that I found and I made it into curtains and this was a suggestion well not a suggestion but one of our followers said that she makes things like this into into curtains. And I thought, well, I'm going to give it a try. I am so happy how it came out. It's a picture frame that I've had for years. I just went ahead. I printed out the picture of the garden. I feel that was kind of a compromise for them. Since Luciana is into the space, she gets the curtains. And then Jack gets the picture of the garden outside their window. And then that's just paper that I put over the picture to give it, you know, the the window look. And I double-sided tape that, so I hope it'll stay up. So guys, that is Luciana and Jack's room. So just kind of backing it up to show you, you don't have to. I hope this gives you some ideas for your room. As I said, I'm slowly doing each doll's, redoing the doll's rooms, getting rid of things, Add maybe adding things to you know that on their their rug is a I found it again at a thrift store. It's just a pillow, like a pillow covering or seat covering. And then I'll go back this way and you can see their chair and their flowers. I think oh goodness, I'm sorry. Um <laughs> So, and then here, 
the pictures on the wall. I'm just trying to be more, more of what I want than where I was, like I said before, I was like, quick, what do I get? You know, so I'm really trying to build up their characters more or their interests more, personalities in the back there. And the bedding. And I'll probably end up... I think I'll keep that bedding. I'm not sure. If I find something florally that I have or see something floral, I may give Jack a different bed, bedding. I'm not definite on that yet. So, guys, that is, like I said, Jack in Luciana's room. So, we're remodeling the dollhouse one room at a time. I hope you enjoyed this. Like, share, and we'll see you on the flip side. Bye, everybody.